shameless self-promotion, if you like Portal, go check out our series that we did. Did one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It exists. We, I don't even... Did we ever do a co-pilot of Portal 2? No, we didn't. We should do that someday. Yeah, maybe. If I feel like it. Hey, look, a QR code. Huh, that's this weird. one... This one was well, so hard for leaving. me to figure out because I didn't have a smartphone at the time, so I borrowed uh, fucking uh, Warners. So this QR code is uh, actually kind of dumb. See, there's a way to solve this puzzle without having a smartphone. And it has nothing to do with like taking a screenshot of the QR code and then like looking for a QR scanner online or anything. Literally, mm -hmm. this QR code and uh, a certain achievement. Let's see if this... Okay, now this just does that. Well, there's an achievement in the game called Achievement Unlocked that just gives you a fucking code to type in. And uh, that code corresponds exactly with this QR code. Oh. So you must use the achievements to your advantage. Yep. Or you can just scan the QR code. Either yeah. way. Anyway, I think that means we're done in the sewer hub. Wait, yeah, because this one's going to be that? a question mark forever. Wait, why? Because... Actually... Hmm. Let me do a quick search online, because there might also be another thing that overlaps with it, and I don't remember. I guess we're just going to do it then. Yeah. F it. Wow, that didn't work. Probably because it's not on screen. But yeah, there are like three different rooms in the game that this QR code appears as well. That still didn't work. Why didn't that work? Do I have the fucking code wrong? Am I seriously that bad? There it is. Got there it. it is. All nice and white and green. White is green. Yep. The the white peep screeny dragon. <laughs> Not to be confused with uh, Red Peep's Blackie Dragon. Oh, you know what? No, I'm somewhat mistaken. That achievement, that was the achievement unlocked one that I just did. The QR code is not the achievement unlocked one. I don't remember what it was then, but I distinctly remember like being able to solve the QR code one without using a QR code reader. But I'll just pull up a QR code reader, because I have one on my phone. And read the QR code with it. Yeah, I've got a QR code reader on my phone too, but... I don't think... I don't expect to ever use it for a video game, but I do use it for... the atomizers that I buy for vaping. There, there we go. go. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, so interestingly then, uh, normally when I play through this game, I don't do this hub until much later on because of the lava room. Yeah. So that was a different QR code than the one in the other rooms. But there's only one anti-cube that you get from scanning a QR code in the game. Mm-hmm. So, by scanning that one, you will be given a different code, or like a different series of inputs to do, than if you scanned a different one. Which is interesting. Okay, so we're up to 30 cubes. We're getting there. Uh, on that note, basically, I guess at this point, we're gonna go to the bell tower. And uh, we're going to have, like, a slight preview of what's to come. And then that'll be it. And we yeah. get to go and finish the game. So that's how close we are, guys. We're, like, literally... It's been two hours 
and we're about to beat the game. Fucking, sure this can. is... This is what Fez is like when you know every secret. Yeah, and when you don't, it takes you about 18 hours. Yep. Oh. Oh. That's a that big door. Thing. That is a big door. And look at, mm. we only have that many. Hmm. Ah, uh, well, it's dark. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, hmm, I guess we're not actually close to finishing the game after all. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's okay. We'll get there eventually. And honestly, no, I did not remember that that's where that door was. I literally did not plan for that at all. Yeah. <laughs> it just worked. Unfortunate. It was very fortunate. What are you talking about? That was brilliant. Okay, then it was fortunate. Hmm. Oh, I remember this one. Fish, fix your game! Yeah, what the fuck? No, I'm just kidding. This one's obviously intentional. Oh. Although it's a weird place, to be sure. Yeah, and it's really weird every time you switch perspectives. Yes, that it is. I don't remember where to go from here, no. Well. Wah, wah, wah. Question is, what does it mean? That's a good question. Can't say I know the answer. I uh -oh. almost fell off of that. Yeah. It was a little bit close. It's a good thing this thing isn't a real thing. Well, I suck at the game though, so. Yeah. Not gonna deny it. There we go. All right, and now time to leave this hellhole before we see any more locked doors. And also before our viewers have a seizure. Yeah, that's also true. Seizure warning. I know it's late, but there it is. Uh, editor probably took care of it. Here's hoping. You're welcome. All right, and back to the bell tower. I'm at the bell tower entrance. And back to the bell tower. <laughs> Yay, we can ring the Bell of Awakening. Yes. Man, we've got a lot of those shortcuts open. It's a good thing that we're totally using them and they're definitely not going to waste. <laughs> Ding. Why is it still doing that? I don't know, man. This shit is fucked. This shit is, in fact, fucked. Yo, so did you know that you can press on this bell to ring it? Yeah. Did you also know that there are numbers in this game? Yeah. I know, I've solved this I've solved this puzzle before. Now you need to make a song. Ding da ding 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 ding. consecutively. Yay! But yeah, so each side of that bell had a number on it. Hey, 32 cubes. Uh, each side of that bell had a number on it. The idea is you just have to ring that side of the bell that amount of times. Huh. Yes. That's some cool shit in the distance there, eh? Well, 
Too bad, we're leaving. Goodbye. I'm dying. <laughs> we're leaving this mortal coil. Goodbye. <laughs> forever. Hello, squares. Alright, so... As we begin to approach the end of our journey... I find it all but necessary to enlighten you as to the purpose of this venture. Therefore, because I find it all but necessary, I will not enlighten you as to the purpose of this adventure. Oh, there you go. You heard it here, <laughs> folks. Ah, <laughs> uh, get wrecked. So there's other shit behind those other doors. I don't care. Because for right now, we've just got this one that we need to go through. This one's the one that matters for us here today. There you go, yeah. So incidentally, these people speak in this language. I'm going to call it cubism because that seems appropriate. But those seem appropriate. Oh. Well. Oh, yeah. I forgot how good the music is here. Yeah, also, fucking the best song in the game. Looks like a QR code. Yeah, it's almost like we've solved that puzzle already. Right. Oh, it's dark. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was uh, temporarily blinded by the outdoor night. Yo, look, it's a man with a fez. Too bad I can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> oh, look, a door. Nobody knows what you're talking about, old man. By the way, I find it really interesting that the door opened with exactly half of our cubes being gold and half of them being purple, even though we only have 14 blue instead of 16. This is an owl. He was watching you. Yep. Now you make him not watch you. Oh. All right, I'm gonna just be peaceful here for a second. Oh, there we go. Alright. This room is important. For reasons it's where the that I cannot be. yet explain. It's where the king used to be. I am, I the, am king the king now! I am the king. Here is my crown. I went behind the world, as it turns out. And it makes the music go behind the world. Yes, it does. Which is a really cool effect. It is. Hey, look, octopus people. Hmm. That's pretty strange. I'm I sure we'll never see any more of those again. I will call them octopussies. Because they can't show their face like a man. Hey, look, a cube. Alright, and I believe this is the last non-gigantic door in the village. Hey, look, octopus people. And a cube. And a code. And another and code. some other shit. Hmm. All right. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what this means. Okay. In all seriousness, though, this is actually the room where the game teaches you about numbers. So this is a cube that's folded out into its spaces, obviously, and you can see each side is numbered. It's from bottom to top, but it's not really accurate because this is saying 0, 1, 
uh, four, six, five, ten. Hmm. Anyway, over hmm. here we have a zero dimension, aka a point, one dimension, a line, two dimensions, a square, and three dimensions, a cube. And then those numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, respectively. And this yeah. is just basically addition showing that all of these different things equal 10. So yeah, this room teaches you about numbers. It's pretty cool. It teaches you math. Yep. Not to be confused with math. It does teach you math too, though. Trust me. No, that room does not teach you to math. Oh. Well, shit, my bad. Let's just go over <laughs> here now. You're like, I shouldn't have done that math. 